Well, one day after the CDC's big update that fully vaccinated people do not need to wear masks indoors, local businesses are figuring out how they will respond to this change. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean spent the day checking in with some shops and restaurants. He's joining us live near Julington Creek. Joe? Yeah, we know the CDC dropped the recommendation uh, for masks for those fully vaccinated people, but there's still a significant portion of the population that's not vaccinated. That coupled with the state's mandate that no businesses can require vaccinations to serve people, well, that's leaving businesses in the position of just having to figure out what COVID-19 safety looks like from here on out in what we hope is the home stretch of the pandemic. Well, we had started to reevaluate even before the announcement yesterday, uh, mainly as we were at a point where our staff has uh, been fully vaccinated. Kelly Pickard owns Alewife in Jacksonville's Riverside neighborhood. The tasting room has four employees, all of whom have gotten the shot. Pickard too, but she said she's keeping the mask on for now. It's still a, a comfort level, respect level of, I mean, this is a pretty quick announcement and I don't think people were necessarily inspect, uh, expecting it. Pickard said she wants her customers to feel comfortable. So does Alpha Outlaw, who manages Boger's shoes in Five Points. Right now, we're going to continue to wear our masks. Um, we like our customers to feel confident and safe. So a, a customer comes in, well, I want to buy shoes, but I don't want to wear a mask. If they come in without a mask, like, are, are you enforcing it at all or, or like what? No, we're not going to we're not going to mandate or require them to. But for us, we'll still have on masks. Um, and for the other customers that choose to come with masks, we encourage that. Most businesses we checked with today said they're either reevaluating or keeping the requirements in place, but ditching any kind of enforcement. For big chain stores like Walmart, Aldi, and Target, employees say the decisions on mask requirements comes from the corporate office, which they said has not given updated directions yet, so the requirements are still in place. A spokesperson for Southeastern Grocers, the company that owns Winn-Dixie and Harvey's supermarkets, released a statement saying, we are currently reviewing our store safety protocols and will share more details as soon as they are finalized. We ask our customers for their patience and flexibility as we continue to safeguard the health and well-being of our communities. And a lot of uh, businesses have also gone back to pre-pandemic operations, dropping all uh, COVID-19 safety regulations. But the places that are still uh, have some COVID-19 uh, rules in place, uh, they've all they, a lot of them have told me they're planning to post a sign that says uh, uh, issuing a mask uh, recommendation for people who haven't been vaccinated yet, and then just leaving it to them to follow it or not. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.